Uh, we are local true. Paris Court Distillery was founded as a family business, as John was saying, with deep roots in the community. So this category provides an opportunity to hear inspiring stories from the nominated organisations and individuals, and a chance to acknowledge and say thanks to charities, volunteers and businesses for their hard work. So, the shortlisted nominees are, out of all of those entries that were received, Fela on the Khan, North Wicklow Women's Shed, East Coast Samaritans, and Kilbride GAA. Now, I'd like to invite, from the tele, uh, Tony O'Donoghue from RTE Group, uh, RTE Sport. He is the football correspondent there, and he's also one of our judges this evening. Everybody give a warm welcome to Tony O'Donoghue, please. How are you, Tony? All right, you're the euro. Yeah, of course you are. Um, okay, we, shall we, we just get, we're, we're going to fly through these awards now, just so you know. So, the experience of, that's handy, yeah, so you can hand it off. The Spirit of Wicklow Community Award goes to Kilbride GAA. Kilbride GAA, Jim Hanley is here. Hello, Jim. Hello, Jim. Hello, Jim. Hello, Jim. So what's going to happen now is the obligatory photos and smiles and everlasting handshakes and hugs. <laughs> Dearman has revitalised the community spirit in Manor Kilbride. He's after leading the creation of the GAA sports ground. There's a fab children's playground there. My kiddos love it. Uh, there's also the lovely little community cafe and it's a fine spot to visit and play nestled in the hills there. He's tireless fundraising and his dedication has provided a vital hope for the local community. Uh, fostering a sense of togetherness and pride. Will you give it up to our first award winner this evening, please? Deserving winner of the Community Award. He just asked me what the Nova 